Hello, and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, we will demonstrate how to calculate the filter time constant and heat flow dependency factor, which are needed to optimize baseline performance when large ambient temperature fluctuations are present. Open the file in TAM Assistant that was collected as described in part one. The data will now need to be exported to Excel. To export, click the export icon under the home menu. A wizard will appear that will allow you to select the data you wish to export. It is recommended to export the ambient temperature and signal, and on the right to include time, ambient temperature, and heat flow. Include the raw data and make sure subtract baseline is not selected. For the time information, it is suggested to export at equispaced intervals of 20 seconds. Click the Finish button. Now, open the file in Excel. In this Excel file, you should see a column for time, which is in seconds, a column for ambient temperature in Celsius, and a column for heat flow that is in watts. The first step is to create the additional columns shown here, which include filtered ambient, heat flow adjustment in microwatts, and adjusted heat flow in microwatts. We will also include the values we will be solving for, filter and filter time constant. We are solving for the filter value, which we will need to convert into a time constant. The time constant represents the thermal connection between the ambient temperature and the calorimeter measuring cup. For this conversion, the time constant is equal to the time interval, in this case 20 seconds, divided by minus ln one minus filter value. The second value we will be solving for is the heat flow dependency, which is the shift in baseline per degree Celsius of ambient temperature change. And finally, the standard deviation of adjusted heat flow signal, which is equal to the standard deviation of the cell range for the adjusted heat flow column. Now, we will fill out the equations for the other three columns. For the filtered ambient column, the first row is equal to the starting ambient temperature. The second row, we will use the following equation, equals filter times ambient plus one minus filter times previous filtered ambient temperature. Fill this equation down for the rest of the column. Now we will calculate the heat flow adjustment, which will be equal to filtered ambient minus first filtered ambient times heat flow dependency. Fill this equation down for the rest of the column. Finally, we can solve for the adjusted heat flow in microwatts, which is equal to heat flow times 1 e to the 6 minus heat flow adjustment. Again, fill this equation down. Next, we will use the solver add-in to solve for the filter and heat flow dependency values. To solve, we first need to set our objective, which is to minimize the standard deviation of the adjusted heat flow signal. This corresponds to cell I6, and we want to minimize this value by changing both the filter, which is I2, and heat flow dependency, I4. To solve, we will want to add in some constraints. The first one, I2 is less than or equal to 0.5. The second, I2 is greater or equal to 0.001. The third, I4 is less than or equal to 100. And the final, I4 is greater or equal to one. The solving method will use GRG nonlinear. Once all the appropriate information is filled in, 
we can click the Solve button. It will take a little time to calculate the values for the filter and heat flow dependency. Once it is done, a pop-up should appear that indicates a solution has been found. Click OK and check the filter, filter time constant, and heat flow dependency values calculated. You should also notice the filtered ambient, heat flow adjustment, and adjusted heat flow columns have been updated. It is the filter time constant and heat flow dependency values you will want to take note of because we will put these values into TAM Assistant to correct for the large ambient temperature changes in the device settings. Go back to the TAM Assistant that is controlling the calorimeter. In the Advanced Settings tab, select Calorimeter Settings in the left panel. The heat flow correction window will be displayed. Make sure Enable Heat Flow Correction is checked. Enter in the filter time constant and heat flow dependency factor that was calculated in Excel. To apply, click the arrow in the middle. The calorimeter signal will now be corrected based on the filter time constant and heat flow dependency values applied. In this example here, we can see what the data would have looked like if the heat flow correction was enabled compared to the signal that was collected without. If corrected, the signal would not display the same signature as the ambient temperature. Going forward, it would be beneficial to run with the heat flow correction enabled for this configuration to ensure optimal baseline performance. It is important to note that different configurations, for example, wired versus non-wired, might have different time constants and heat flow dependencies associated with them. So it is advised to repeat this procedure for each configuration and adjust the values in TAM Assistant prior to collecting data. In this tech tip, we learned how to calculate the filter time constant and heat flow dependency factor, which are used to optimize heat flow signal by correcting for ambient temperature effects. Please stay tuned for more helpful tips from TA Instruments and thank you for your interest.